the weird thing that happened around COVID, I'd never noticed this before in any other time of my life, but you weren't allowed to ask questions and, and at, at any point during this. You just had to, you had to do what the man on the TV said, right? You had to do what the man on the TV said without questions, and then you're a good person. But if you question it, then you're a white supremacist, Trumper, not, they're like, whoa, no, no. <laughs> No, I didn't vote for Trump. I just have questions. Jimmy, only dumb people ask questions. <laughs> Isn't that weird? It was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Even comedians would get on stage and they would shame people for trying to get informed about a medical treatment that was experimental that they had to take or they would lose their jobs and they wouldn't be able to travel. And when people tried to get informed about that, other people shamed them. They would say, please tell me you're not going to... Do your own research. <laughs> You've heard people say that. Please don't do your own research. You know, before COVID, doing your own research used to be called reading. <laughs> now you're shaming me for reading? At the behest of Big Pharma? It's like I woke up in the middle of a Bill Hicks bit. Well, looks like we got ourselves a reader. That's how much people internalized the propaganda from Big Pharma was that they would shape, they would be anti-intellectual enough to shame people for reading while they're wagging their finger at them for doing it. You would never shame people for trying to get informed no matter what other subject it was, no matter how unimportant. Like if I say, hey, I'm going to go, I'm going to go buy a car. Don't look into it. <laughs> Well, well, how will I know which car to get? Ask the salesman. He's the expert. <laughs> what are you, Henry Ford?